Today I am going to show you how to prepare and read hematocrit value. As you know, our blood is formed by two components, blood cells and blood plasma. Hematocrit is the percent value of red blood cells in a whole blood sample. These are all the material we will need for the experiment. We need blood sample, capillary tube, we need a sealant, a ruler, have an extra paper towel, there is a microcentrifuge, do not forget gloves because you will be handling a biohazard sample, the blood sample and also of course you need paper and pencil to write down your drug recordings or data. Here is the microcapillary tube. We will draw blood into it. If you look carefully, on one end of the capillary tube, there is a blue ring. Make sure you dip that end into the sample to draw the blood. And I will explain it to you later what, why I am suggesting to do that. The blood sample, before you start, gently shake the vial a few times. Remember, gently shake it. Before we draw the blood, make sure everything is ready with the microcentrifuge. Plug it in. Then when you open the lid, there is another screw cap. Unscrew it. And now you can see the slots inside the machine. Within these slots, we put the capillary tubes. That's why this instrument is called micro centrifuge machine. Another thing, if you notice carefully, on the side of each slot, there is a number. So when you will put your sample, note the number where you are loading the sample. If you are the only one using the machine, there is no problem. But if there are multiple people or teams are using the machine at the same time, we will track it by the number. Now we will load the blood or draw the blood in the tube. And this end in slightly tilted the vial you will put it slightly tilted and then you will see the blood will start coming through the capillary tube this is called the capillary action we will go up to the three-fourth we will leave about half an inch from the top and stop and we will put our index finger in there and now we will seal this end when you will be sealing dig the tube up to that blue mark now you will understand what I mentioned that before we are taking it out you can clearly see on one side that white clay has sealed that side of the tube always make sure wipe it thoroughly but gently because these are very thin capillary and now we will load the capillary tube in the centrifuge with the sealant side towards outside because when this will be rotating if you have the tube loaded in the reverse direction all the blood samples will be spilled out of your tube Repeating the same step, I prepared another capillary tube with blood sample. 
and I am loading it across from the first tube because remember this is the centrifuge machine we always have to balance the samples whatever we are putting so we have two tubes across from each other we will close that lid another important step if you forget all you will get broken pieces pieces of glasses once you open the lid we will close the lid and now run the centrifuge for five minutes five minutes is over centrifuge is done I will take those capillary tubes out for measurement in the meantime when the centrifuge was running what I did I did some cleaning I did put the blood samples away we are handling synthetic bloods here but still again remember those are biohazard sample the paper towels and anything else with the blood stain those were thrown away in the biohazard container so let's see what happened Do the same thing we have to take the screw cap off and here the capillary tube now if you look here you can distinctly see the top part looks transparent that's the plasma and the bottom that's where the red blood cells settle down by the centrifugation. Now, technically, there is a very thin layer which is called the buffy coat in between the red blood cells and the plasma, but we cannot distinguish that layer here. So what we will do to calculate the hematocrite, we will use a ruler and then we will measure the length of that packed red blood cell and then the whole blood sample to do the calculation for the hematocrit. Let's do the measurement now first. So what we see the red blood cell suction is about one centimeter and then for the plasma, I see it is about 6.5, 6.6 centimeters. So now what we will do, we will punch those numbers in the formula. So we have red blood cell, one centimeter over 6.5 five centimeters for the whole blood sample and another reminder the sealant this part with the clay I didn't measure it and it will be uniform for all the tubes because that blue line is our guideline now multiply it with hundred this will be roughly about 15 something percent now that will be your responsibility to do the calculation and come up with the percent one very important thing always remember do not forget to put the percent sign because hematocrit is always expressed as percentage Once you are done with your calculation with the sample, always go back and compare the value with the normal male versus female. And after you are done, do not forget to clean up, throw away the samples with blood in the biohazard container and also clean up the area where you have worked.